Chapter 4 is entitled Nonlinear Functions or Using or Problem Solving with Nonlinear Functions. In this first section, 4.1, we give you some examples of nonlinear functions like this one here. Uh, this is r of n equals 11n squared plus 3n minus 20. And the reason why it's nonlinear is because of this term right here. If this term did not was not present, in other words, that, uh, that would be a linear function here with here the slope being 3 and the vertical intercept negative 20. Um, but because of this addition of this other term, the graph of this function is not linear. And if you were to go make a table of values of n, we won't do it, but if we were to make a table of values of n and r of n values and you know do this number, get some values here, you would find the average rate of change between the pair of points is not the same. And it's because of this squared term here of this input variable. So this section will introduce, especially in your reading, different types of nonlinear functions. Here's one. And what we'll ask you in the beginning section, one of the simple concepts here is to find this, let's say, r of 5. What? How do we calculate r of 5? So this is actually reverting back to, oh, uh, section 3.2 in your book regarding function notation, what does it mean to calculate or find r of 5? And hopefully you, after some thought, think, well, this is the function name, that's the output ver input variable, this is how output variables are calculated. So that 5 is actually an input value, and to find out what the corresponding output value is, you got to replace 5 there and there, and then evaluate. So we can do that in one shot on our calculator. So that is 11 in parentheses, 5, I'm hitting the squared button here, squared button gives me a squaring, and then uh, plus 3 times n, just 5 here, I don't need parentheses, I can use the times button, but I'm just using parentheses, minus 20, so minus 20, so r of 5 is 270. Now, we'll give you a context of what this output variable here, r of n, is, and maybe what n, this input variable, is, and ask you to write a sentence of what this statement would mean. Uh, depending on what the variables are in a situation, you should write an appropriate sentence. But this is an input value and the associated output value. So that's the first one of this type that you'll see in 4.1.